for those of you who don't know, Controller Rollers is the video game Let's Play channel run and managed by Elite Free, who are the team of No Working, One Kids Entertainment, and X Jerry Four Six. X Jerry four sixty X Jerry sixty four X who make the Pokemon Bridged show and also Dark Swamp the Black Lagoon Black Lagoon abridged show. They've now been doing controller rollers for about 18 months and because of various constraints on their ability to work they have contemplated shutting down the site several times. Despite that they have produced lots of content. There are maybe a thousand videos on their channel and they've played scores of games some of them just for one-offs or for short series like the Batman games and others for episode series that are 40 or 30 or 50 or maybe even a hundred episodes long like they did for the two Spyro games. I happen to really like and admire Elite Free. They are some of the most talented, experimental, hard-working, friendly people. They are very passionate about being creative and open and working hard. And life has not been easy for them. They've had to really struggle and grit their teeth and wade through the mud in order to get where they are today. Like just to launch a Patreon account and be able to move in together so that all three of them are living under the one roof was a very difficult and long task for them. So, nothing would be better than to see them succeed in their work. They deserve everything nice that's coming to them. And I can only wish them great success. Unfortunately, Controller Rollers, in the 18 months since it was launched, has not been that successful. It only has about a million views. Each video, which is 15 to 20 minutes long, which is a segment of a larger Let's Play, might only get a thousand views. Now, that is way lower than what you would expect for an average Let's Play on YouTube. At minimum, you would expect to get 10,000 views per video, and for the most successful channels, like TFS, um, Team Four Stars Let's Play channel, or GT Live, then they get views in the hundreds of thousands. So it seems rather odd and perplexing and discomforting to see that Controller Rollers has not been a major success 
and a real bringer in of money for Elite Free in the same way that other Let's Play channels have been. And it almost seems like Controller Rollers is a huge bin because in order to create content you have to dedicate many hours of playing the games, editing them, and cre and getting them to publication. So Elite Free are committing a lot of time and perhaps also money and mental energy and maybe even physical energy into creating this channel and it is not paying off for them. They are not getting the huge bundles of views associated with their let's plays of these video games. And at first glance there doesn't seem to be any obvious explanation for why this is so. They are presenting the video games in the same format and style that other Let's Play channels do. It's the, the, the games they select are just as interesting and popular as other channels. In terms of the commentary that they provide, it's often a grade above what you would expect from the average Let's Play channel. Because those three, No Whacking, X Jerry 64X, and One Kids Entertainment, are actually very funny people. And so often when they're playing games, they can get very silly and funny and entertaining. So on that front, the fact that they haven't been as successful doesn't make any sense, because if anything you would expect them to be more successful than average, not less. So, the question is, why isn't Controller Rollers a huge success? And, as far as I can tell, I can, f I can think of two reasons. Now, I, have watch I haven't watched everything that Controller Rollers has ever brought out. I've watched all of the Batman episodes, all the Harry Potter episodes, all the Spyro episodes of both games, and I've watched some of the Assassin's Creed, and a few other show, uh, a few other series of games, a few other games here and there. First of all, they need to fix the pr their audio system. The when you upload a controller rollers video, the audio from the game is extremely quiet to the point where you have to turn up the volume really loud in order to be able to hear it. And and so it often feels like, unless you're able to turn the volume up really high, that you're just watching the images on the screen by themselves. And that's a real problem. One of the things that makes Let's Plays so entertaining to watch and enjoyable and addictive is that it can almost take on the imitation of when you come over to a friend's house, sit on the couch and watch them play a video game. And you're able to watch the screen and follow along as they play this video game. And in order for you to really capture this experience of watching someone play a video game, 
you have to be able to experience the video game the same way that they would, which means actually being able to hear it and being able to follow along with what's happening and for like environmental and ambiance noises you need to become immersed in this world understand you know the physical environment in which you are in and then on the other hand you need to listen to the dialogue to make sure that you understand what's happening who's doing what to where who going when And so, when you upload a controller roller's video and you can't hear any of the noise, that enjoyable factor of actually being able to hear the game and become immersed inside of it and actually feel like you're there sitting on the couch next to them watching them play this game is lost. And you can't just sit back relax and enjoy yourself as you follow along with them playing this game because you can barely hear what's going on and all you can go on are the pictures and so the whole experience of video games of actually combining visual and audio is lost Controller rollers just need to sort this out. When you look at other Let's Players, they have been able to strike the balance. They give, pri get, they give primacy to the actual audio coming from the video game so that the viewers can hear it, and then their commentary is then provided as a second audio source. And I don't know what Elite Free are doing with their computer networking that's different from other Let's Players, whether they can't provide the volume because it's too loud inside where they're playing and that would create an echo factor, I don't know. But regardless of what the technical source of the problem, the 